Hey, so I got a simple script here that renames all the materials with a with a string. It could be whatever you want. Um, this came from a question somebody had on the Discord. This wasn't what they needed. Um, they wanted to do something a bit more complicated, but I had went ahead and built this script as an example to share within my company and thought it would be uh, still helpful to show you guys. It's a very simple script. Uh, if you're new to Dynamo, it could be a fun one to play around with. And then also has a little bit of Python. Uh, and as always, it'll be up on my GitHub for you to download and use however way uh, you want. So, uh, and speaking of my Discord, that uh, this is it here. So this is the community Discord for uh, the channel. And I try to, uh, anytime somebody joins the Discord, um, I will uh, try to say hi to them. Uh, that's what all these are. Uh, but the uh, there's a variety of different uh, channels in here. And, um, you know, feel free to, to check this out if you want to um, just talk with other people that are interested in, in these things or ask questions or whatever. Uh, it's a community channel. I hope that the community uh, kind of drives it and, and shapes it. So, anyways, enough with that. Uh, here's the script. Like I said, very, very simple. There's only one uh, node that comes from a package. It's this Orchid node. And it retrieves all the materials and the project. You can see that there. Uh, originally, when I messed around with this, I thought uh, I didn't know what I would do or have to grab when it came to materials. I don't mess with materials often, but I found it was pretty straightforward. Um, <clears throat> so with the materials, what we can do is, is use this material.name uh, node, and that'll return the string name of that material or of all the materials, in this case 93. And then I just, very simple, I've got a code block here. It was renamed to new stuff. Uh, I take the material, which is um, this over here, and then I just add underscore stuff. Or we could do something like uh, new name. Run it. We'll see it gets updated, so we can see the preview of what this looks like. Um, obviously, and obviously for the folks that have messed with Dynamo for some time, but less obviously... Uh, for some people is that you can uh, use a variety of different parameters to determine how you would name the material. Is this that practical? I don't know. I don't mess with materials often at all, but if you needed to re rename a bunch based off of some parameter value on the uh, material, you could uh, do that. But here we're just kind of, uh, uh, we're just grabbing all 93 and, and giving them the same name. So or the, new, the same new name at the end of uh, the string. Uh, so for Python, that was pretty easy. All we need to do is down here, we go uh, format, so material and name in the materials and new names. So we're looping through the materials, that's this here, so the iterator for that is mapped, and then we're looping through the new name strings, which is this here. And the iter iterator for that is name. And it's pretty straightforward, just mat.name equals the new name. And if we wanted to make this clearer, we could say new name, come down here, uh, new name. And then out dot append mat, so that will append the material so that we could check the name. Uh, so if we save this, unfreeze it, click run. It may take a minute, and then if we expand that, we'll see that we've got the material elements, and then we can check the name to verify that the new name. Um, or to verify that it has the new name and we can see that there so again um, this kind of originated from a uh, question this was not at all what they wanted but since I built it 
um, and shared it within my company. I thought, hey, you know, there. I think there might still be a use for this. Uh, it'll be on my GitHub. Feel free to check that out and download it and, and use it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks for, for watching.